Hi, my name is Natalie. In this video, I will present you a way to start a successful WordPress blog to make money online in 10 easy steps to follow to really change your lives. On top of that, it's completely free. Hey and welcome. I am Natalie, the founder of SitesWithNatalie.com a website dedicated to helping WordPress community worldwide, providing educational services and encouraging innovation, creativity. On this channel, I make videos about WordPress. My channel is mainly for WordPress lovers who are so passionate about WordPress as I am. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon as well. Let's get into this. Niche blogging is the act of creating a blog with the purpose of using to market your specific niche. One of the most important decisions you have to make is your domain name. Your domain name should reflect who you are and what your website is all about. I introduce you now the name Ship Visual. This is a set of brand design tools. You can use the log maker and the business name generator tools to completely come up with some perfect ideas for your brand. These two, these two tools are totally free. I enter the term bike as it, it reflects my new brand, keyword focus. Let's check some appealing company names. Then notice which words stand out to you. Enter the words or sentences you like the most and find out if it is available. Perform a domain name search. By the way, you can check my last video where I talk about this new fantastic tool. If for some reason your business name is already taken, consider using similar words that evoke the same meaning. Make an offer because the owner of the business name may be open to selling you the name. Why not? Start over if you can't find a good alternative. Go back to come up with fresh new ideas for your business name. To register your domain inside Namecheap is pretty easy. At the moment, you can claim a 50% off, which is crazy, or you can try out the other top levels domains. If you scroll down, you are able to filter the best, the best price for a one year or for a longer duration. If you choose this package deal, there are three easy steps to follow along. So check these available options. A web hosting is an internet hosting service that hosts websites for clients or for yourself. In other words, it offers the necessary resources and equipment to create and maintain a site over the internet space, making it accessible. I recommend SiteGround since it makes it simple to create and manage your website whether you are using WordPress or another platform. You install WordPress through SiteGround. It is a one-click installation or manually installed. Here's what to do. Step number one, select your hosting plan. If you are just starting out, select the first one. If you over, over on top of it, you get more detailed information regarding the plan. Step number two, you fill out your information. Make sure the domain name is yours. And step number three, install WordPress in a one-click install with your access login details. Is that easy? You can use free niche research tools to help you find profitable niche keywords as well as to find new blog topics. Here's my list of free keyword research tools in order to help you. Sumo, in my opinion, is one of the most useful and helpful tool that you can use the most to find the most popular content on any niche. Simply search for any topic or domain and it will display the most shared pieces of content from the past year. It's very simple to use it. You can filter by types of content such as infographies, guest posts, which I will address in a few minutes, and videos, and so on. You can also check how many shares each one has gained on social media channels. This is an excellent tool you can utilize to expand your blog. My next tool is Answer the Public. 
And so the public is an online platform that uses the most frequent questions from Google search customers. It's an essential SEO tool. You can learn more about your target audience and really understand what they are looking for so you can make the right decisions. You can filter your query search by country, by language to get instant insights from your customers. I enter here bikes for business. The best way to get the most insightful that it is to stick to one or two words at a time and then trying out the variations around it. Immediately it shows up results will with the most 39 questions on this topic and you can go with the comparison will by prepositions, bikes company near me, business for bikes. It is providing you with plenty of excellent ideas. You can download it for your computer. It works as a freemium tool, which means you are limited to a certain number of queries by daily. My number three tool is Google Trends. Google Trends is helpful to find trending topics on or top keyword by just entering a term. The top benefit of this amazing tool is for new news websites as they can easily search what's trending online such as top searches and stories. WordPress comes with a ton of free themes. When you are still new in WordPress, I don't usually recommend buying a premium WordPress theme right away. The best is only pay for a paid theme once you have some traffic and you can justify the investment. To find the free blogging themes, navigate over to Appearance tab and click on Themes, then on Popular. I suggest choosing between Cadence WordPress theme, Astra themes or the Elementor theme, the Allow theme. These three free themes are 100% free blog themes that load fast and also have the ability to upgrade to their premium themes versions at affordable price later for more features. A WordPress theme dictates the overall appearance of your blog. They control the site layout, the fonts, the, the colors and the styles for blog posts and blog archives. I go with the Cadence theme to install on your WordPress installation. Click on the install button. Once it's done, click again to activate. The next move is to install plugins to help you. Extending existing functionality and having new features to your WordPress website. There are small software apps that integrate and run on top of the WordPress software. So move over to plugins and click on the head new button. Run a quick search for Yoast to add search engine optimization features. This plugin makes it easy for anyone to optimize the content with built-in suggestions based on widely Google best practice in order to rank higher in search engine results page. Click to install and then click once more to activate the plugin. The next one is WP Forms. Do a quick search, WP Forms, you will, you will want your readers to get in touch with you easily, so I highly suggest to use this amazing plugin in order to encourage people who want to collaborate with you. Click to install and then activate. This is an easy to use plugin allowing you to drag and drop contact forms onto any page or post. The next one is SiteKit by Google. In order to grow your WordPress site, I recommend Google using Google Site Kit. You define the goals and translate them into online metrics. Some few guidelines I suggest you doing is track the piece of content your readers are visiting, track how many time they spend looking at your posts, and the third one is what's the breakdown of new versus returning readers and do this for a few months. Be patient, be realistic too. The next one is a free tool to help you automate your WP social share images. It's called Mighty 
share is this one. This is a free tool to help you automate your WordPress social share images, I said before. The great benefit is that it takes your post title and feature image to generate a beautiful share image for your content. You access multiple templates and it's the perfect solution for branded social images. I also want to create engaging campaigns to help me to gain more money, so search for Pop-Up Maker. Some great examples is this one. Click to install and then activate. Some examples of what you can create include email opt-in pop-ups, content upgrade pop-ups and e-commerce contact forms is integrated with the Canvas theme and WP forms. Pop-up maker is used on over 700,000 websites. Once you have installed and activated the Google Site Hit plugin, you easily find the unique dashboard where all Google tools are aggregated in one place. The setup is pretty easy. Just follow along the steps and you are in a couple of clicks away and you will be ready to go. It might take a while if your site is new to find and connect to your audience. The Yoast first time configuration is where you easily set up the essential settings such as the search engine optimization data, the site's representation and the social media profiles. The social media profiles might be different depending on whether you are filling in for a person or a company. Did you know you can use the ready to use Cadence starter templates? Here's the web page containing the complete set of Cadence free templates. All you have to do is to find your perfect layout, is to click on the image to view the details about the template and to get a live preview. You get more information regarding the WordPress niche and uh, optimization made for this specific template. It lets you as well to click the preview to preview the template. So I suggest you click through and find the one that stands out for you. I click now on the block tab. Don't worry about the applied colors as you can change them later. Just find the one you want. Now that you have seen the whole collection, let's install Cadence Starter Template plugin to install on this WordPress demo site. Since I have installed the Cadence theme, I get this message, so let's install a distance of one click to install and then to activate. Is that easy? Now I want to install this one and now you can filter by free and pro. I'm gonna install a free one. I like this layout so click to install and you can change the color schemes. So click to install the full site, wait a few seconds or minutes depending on your internet speed and voila, this is the, the finished. Let's view the site now. Here's the full website. All you have to do now is to customize it and base it on your niche needs. Uh, we have just important all the content, including images, icons from the Cadence themes demo. If you open up your media files, and library, you will find out all the images and icons for you to use. So we are saving a lot of work time. And the menu links also have been created. Let me show you. Appearance, menus, appearance, menus. And as you can see, the menu links also have been created. This is a practical way to time saving. The block page displays this beautiful grid layout, so you are ready to write your first blog post. To do that, go over to Posts and add new to start off. To write a successful blog post, begin by writing down the blog post headline, encouraging your readers to click through. Since your blog niche purpose is to attract readers to engage in your content, let's come up with a great post title by using free tools. Here's the website I suggest you to use. With this free tool, you enter five nouns here. It should be your irrelevant blog post keywords in order to rank higher in Google search results page. I'm entering shop run by fantastic 
and world. Click and you got this blog ideas for headlines. The other option is to use this free tool to generate in which you enter your related keywords. So shop bikes for business run and you get these suggestions for you to use. So utilize one of these two tools for your business. So the next move is to outline your post. Always keep in mind that you are persuading people as well as delighting and informing people. You should also think about what you want your readers to know or take away after they have read your, your text. So don't forget to add images. Since studies clearly demonstrate that blog posts with images get the 94% more views than those without. Here's one blog post already published. It's beautiful. We have the category, which is the design, design words. We have plenty of images, some lists. Check the Yoast scores to analyze if the blog post is 100% optimized. You get SEO post scores by going to your post dashboard. And here you find SEO score, the readability score, and the number of internal links. At the moment it's showing me a red color, telling me it needs the plenty of optimization work. So this is the moment during which you configure the Yoast plugin. Features turn on every single field in order to get the full range of the SEO analysis reports. Another great tip is to be consistent and bring in quality content to your readers. These will be my final suggestions for you that you are just getting started. More important than consistency, consistency is the quality of the content. It is preferable to write only one epic content a week knowing that your readers will love it than to publish two or three articles a week that have no value at all. Moving on, let's now determine a few blogging advanced settings. So navigate over to your settings, permalinks. You want to customize your URLs. Here you define the URL structure. Select the post name option to utilize the name of your post or a custom category if you want to include the name of your category in the URL. To start off, I suggest you go with the post name, post name option. That's the best option helping you to be found. Going ahead, you will want to showcase your blog post as your homepage. It will serve to capture emails, signups, or to sell a product. For now, I suggest you stick with just a list of your most recent blog posts. To do that, move over to settings under reading and set a home page as your latest blog posts and save it. Below, make sure you also set up for each post as a full text or as a summary. I go with the latest. The next, the next thing I want to show you is how to make a clickable link. A, cli a hyperlink is a web link that links to another file or object. It could be an icon, a graphic or a text. So move over to posts. Let's edit this blog post. So when someone clicks on a hyperlink or web link, the browser leaves the current page you are viewing. You will need this kind of web links to drive traffic to your blog or to start monetizing your content in a few moments and also to deliver a newsletter service to your readers. So let's have an hyperlink. Use your cursor to highlight. So click and drag the word text you want to make into a clickable link. Now click the link icon in your WordPress visual editor. It will open up the option to paste in the target URL, the new or the new web page that you want to make your clickable text direct to. I paste here your target URL and I click apply. Once you hit the apply button, you are all set. I want to bring your attention to two options you must decide on. To open in a new tab or to open into the same page, all you have to do is to check this little gear icon that says open link in a new tab. 
like so. In order to help you, need, you need to set up some uh, rules. If you are linking to an external page that's not part of your site, then make the link be open in a new tab. Otherwise, you will, if you are linking to an internal URL, a page or a post on your own site, you want to keep your readers engaged on. So make the link staying in your current browser window. Let's talk about uh, 301 redirection. Do you know what it is? This is a HTTP status code for pages that have moved permanently or to often redirect users to a new updated location. I recommend you use this new plugin, so head over to plugins, add new, to quickly set up a redirect for any post or page you wish to move to a new web link. 321 is this one. Click to install and then activate. After the installation, it's pretty easy. Navigate over to the settings, 301 redirection. You will see a complete list of all your 310 redirects across your, your site. At the moment, I have none, so... And then you redirect to a custom one. This, you choose here the new target. It's pretty easy. So, all you have to do now is to just need to set up the rules here. This way you are forwarding traffic and search engines to a new destination URL target. Let's proceed now. I want to show you how you can change the font size and the font colors. So head over to the customizer to adjust the font size based on the size of the device the reader is viewing from. Under Colors and Fonts panel, open up the Typography section and oh, once open, you can see the size settings as well as which device you are setting for. So at the moment is open sense, you can, you can customize it and then, then choosing another one, the style and the size. To check out for mobile devices, just click on the bottom controls and just adjust it there. I'm happy the way it is, so I move back to colors and this is where you can adjust your global palette colors. This is applied throughout the site. The free version of Cadence Team offers three global palettes. There are nine colors. You can switch which palette you are using in the customizer, but that will just change which nine colors are used. The order is important. There are three sections of colors. The first two are the accent colors. The next four have to do with contrasting colors that help provide subtle design hierarchy usually in text. And the last three are for background that help define fine differences in sections of a page or a post. Below, you can also adjust the link colors and the link styles to a standard underline behavior, to a no underline, the background on over and offset background. Let's look into ways to promote your blog to get traffic. Here it goes, my recommended list. Use social media channels and promote your blog on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Link, Reddit. You will need to experiment and see which networks will achieve best for you in order to drive traffic. Another strategy to implement is joining a community that loves to assist each other. How? Guest blogging on other relevant blogs and sites like Medium, Cora, LinkedIn, among others. This is the best way to connect and engage with a established community. Build your own email list or email newsletter to grow your blog audience. Use WP forms to relate with your readers. Another great way to start monetizing your blog is by launching a simple podcast for your readers and to display it on your website and then convert visitors into podcasts subscribers. The podcast industry is booming, so consider starting off a podcast. Use free 
Photostock images here it is my recommended list check them out explore the ones you like the most and splash they offer beautiful images you can download for free to use for any commercial use no attribution is required and are copyright free you can do a search by categories if we over over on top you can download it like it or even hire the owner my next one is pexels you can explore and download your perfect blog pictures by the trending or by news the news ones there are thousands of new images every day completely free to use one thing i like about this website is that they also have videos you can embed it into, into your blog post to attract readership and conversions. My next one is Pixabay. It's a great stock image site. It has over 1 million royalty free stock photos, illustrations, vector graphics, and thousands of video clips. No attribution is required. I like it a lot. My next one is StockSnap. This is another resource source for free images. Browse it, download, copyright free. You can check by categories, by trending. You can read a lot and get inspired too. The last but not least suggestion is this one. It was launched in 2013. You can explore some other beautiful free designs such as icons, mockups, social media, teams, and WAG kits. So you decide it. So I truly trust you found this video helpful. So let me know in the comments below if this has helped you. If you have any questions, doubts, please ask them in the comment section below. I will do my best to help you out. My name is Natalie. I'm the founder of this YouTube channel. Subscribe, share and smash the like button in case you found this video content valuable to you. Thank you so much for watching.